What about something easy? Where are you guys based? We are based in China, in Beijing to be exact. We are not a Chinese company, just a bunch of foreigners that happens to live here and who are also pretty much stuck at the moment due to COVID restrictions. There will be some environmental lights, occasionally though, fireflies, etc. I'm assuming there will be different tiers of equipment. How are you thinking of blocking advancement? Do I have to kill a boss to finally progress to tier 2 weapons, or can I simply learn it through normal progression? Gradual introduction of tiered equipment will happen. When it comes to the progression, access to tiers, we still have a couple of things to decide upon before sharing. Will I be able to influence AI tribes in any way, either through diplomacy or offerings? There will be ways to influence things. We haven't decided on the exact mechanics of that yet, but it would kind of shuck a bit if you cannot affect things a little. I am curious about the options your advanced AI will give as well, because that will open so much uniqueness for this game in my books. Yeah, we are quite excited about the AI aspect as well. It is something we will continue expanding on before, under, early access and after. Speaking of bases, will there be a lot of customising in that regard? We'll be going a little more in depth to our bases construction system next week, hopefully. We aim to give the player as much freedom as possible when it comes to how they build and the options they have. Will it only be enemy tribes who will attack my base or will wildlife as well? There are some triggers that can make wildlife go apeshit on you, but how they react and what they do will be based on their intelligence level, including how long they will bother with you before other needs take over. Will I need to feast every 5 minutes to stay fed or will food be a little more forgiving? Food is forgiving, it will buff other things instead they you will want to keep high. It will take days of in-game time to die of hunger, although your hunger will give you penalties. No more eating spoiled meat while killing crabs and running from bees. That brings up another question then. Will there be different creatures coming out at night, oversized owls for instance? Other more sinister things come out at night and some of the nicer ones might go into hiding. Would you say this is a PvE game first and a PvP game second? I would say that our focus is on making great PvE, but there is balancing done at the same time so that PvP can be fun for those who prefer this, just not our focus at this stage. Can there be gore in the game? Gore can only happen through mods if we open up for this. Under a Rock will have an age rating based on no gore, so we as developers cannot have a settings option for this. One thing we have worked on quite a lot and continue working on is a more balanced system between those who like to go out and fight and those who like to farm and harvest, and those who like to craft and build. Can't say much more about it right now, but we are working hard on making sure that the typical base builders in the group are also rewarded. Hmm, can we also mine in this game? Mining, heck yeah! There is even a skill for mining that levels up. That late night dodo raid is sounding good. Try stealing their eggs. They have eggs that they we can steal? Maybe. If there are mounts, would there possibly be mounted combat? Melee or ranged? It's a good question. We will need to look into it at the same time and see how well we can make it work. It would be cool to have it though, wouldn't it? We did a prototype a while back, before we had procedure worlds, just to see what fun we could easily do with our AI. One of my favourite things was to come back to my base after a harvesting run, just to find someone sitting at my campfire making its own food, even refilling it with wood to keep it going. It didn't want to share with me, of course. We intend to allow customization in terms of putting your own colour on a lot of things you craft yourself. Make the game look like your own. Full day night cycles already in place. You can see it in the last screenshot and in the screenshot channel, I believe. It can get pretty dark in places, light sources recommended, and the night will be much more dangerous than the days. Not something we are just saying either. Will there be a seed system for worlds? Absolutely. A seed is either randomly generated or you input it yourself. Both choices will be there. Will skills be action based? I swing a sword and I level swords or I level up and can distribute points into various skills. Skills are action based in terms of leveling them up. There are also some trickle effects that will, we will outline at a later stage. 
As your skills go up, there is a point system that kicks in and rewards you with points that goes into a separate ability system. We also have attributes, something we hope you will enjoy seeing. And right now, we have a really ugly level up sound for skills that is driving us crazy. LOL. One thing I wasn't too clear on, when you get back to the Society of Engineers with all your goodies, can you go back into the world with all your new amazing gear, or is that the end of the game at that point once making it back? There is no real end to the game. You will be able to make it back, but there is a twist to it that we won't reveal just yet.